Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your February general reading. And this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Let's get some, we'll start out with some energy and then we'll move into the tarot. Okay, Aquarius, we have happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. At the bottom, we have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay, let's get some more energy for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Some more messages for Aquarius, please. Signs and Reminders. At the bottom we have Surrender. And we'll get one more Oracle card for your energies. We have passion. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, what I'm feeling with these oracle cards, we have happiness, signs and reminders, and passion. I feel like there's something that you're very passionate about that's bringing you happiness. And I feel like you are coming into some sort of breakthrough where you may be seeing signs and synchronicities. You may be seeing numbers. Um, I feel like a lot of things are kind of coming to light for you, Aquarius. Um, I feel like spirit is trying to give you some sort of sign that you are very close to some sort of goal, some sort of achievement, um, some sort of passion that you have that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. Okay, let's get some messages for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, and yes, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Aquarius, we have the fool. Okay, let's get some more. We have the sun. Yes, okay. Some kind of new journey. Some kind of new beginning that you're going on. I feel like you're following through. Look at this, you're moving forward. All three of your first cards are major arcana. This is a very bold, a very rich, a very important message that's coming through for you. I feel like you're moving into some sort of new energy. And I feel like you're. It, this energy is coming quick. I feel like the knowledge, the wisdom, the know-how is coming to you very quick. And very rich. You know, I, I feel a very bold and happy energy. We have the Six of Cups. Hmm. Okay. We have, oh my goodness, we have the Devil and the Emperor. You're coming into your power. You're unblocking some sort of energy. You, you're coming into your power, Aquarius. You're unblocking this energy that is bringing you so much success. So much happiness. So much rich excitement. You know, you're coming into some sort of abundance. Some kind of breakthrough that you're having that is... Kind of bringing more resources, more opportunities. 
taking you away from being blocked, being held down. You know, I feel like this this eight of swords energy. It, I feel like you know, in the past, you felt like you were kind of locked in this box. You were boxing yourself into the same old ideas, the same old routine. But I feel like with this Eight of Swords energy, you're moving away from the same old, same old, and you're moving into this new energy that's pushing you forward into this new chapter, this new realization, this new strength that you have. And I feel like this is you becoming more confident in your situation. You're becoming more confident, more self-assured. Uh, because I feel like you know that you have everything that you could possibly need to go on this journey. To take these moves and to come out with your success. You're unblocking yourself. These blocks are being removed. And I feel like they're being removed from your confidence, from your know-how, from you just taking control of the situation and moving past this fear, this doubt, whatever is binding you, whatever is holding you back. You know, I, I feel like you're moving into this situation with a lot of hope, a lot of hope for the future. Because I feel like what you're looking, what you're kind of yearning for is that new hope for the future. Something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy and contentment, you know. And I feel like this new journey is exactly what you need to move you into this new beginning. To move you into this place where you're feeling more successful. You're moving into your abundance with this new chapter in your life. You're moving away from being boxed in and you're going on this journey. You're finding your success. Something that you're pursuing is going to bring you a lot of success. And I feel like, you know, you're getting the answers very quickly. The answers are coming to you. You know, I feel like this is a total life change. This is moving out of your comfort zone and kind of unleashing your energy. You know, taking your knowledge, your wisdom, and putting that into pure action. Beautiful energy, Aquarius. I feel like whatever this is, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment, you know? Spirit, tell me about this Fool card in the sun. Tell me about this Fool in the sun, please. Tell me more about this situation. Yeah, you have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you're coming through some kind of breakthrough. There's some kind of idea that you have to start something, to start a new chapter in your life, to go on this new journey. And I feel like you're taking action with this situation. You may be studying. Um, you may be looking at books on how to increase your wealth, how to do certain things. But I feel like you're, rece you're researching this opportunity. And you are pursuing it with action. You know, you're using your intellect. You're using your knowledge to your benefit. Beautiful energy. I'm loving this already. Okay, we're going to see that there. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this chariot and the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about this chariot and the knight of swords, please. Yeah, the six of swords. You're moving into this new place, leaving your comfort zone. You're leaving what baggage that you had behind you. And you're moving forward. 
with the only precious gift that you have. That's your knowledge. That's your wisdom. That's clarity on your situation. You're taking your ideas and you're moving forward in forward momentum. And I feel like this is pushing you. This is pushing you towards this energy. You're moving into this successful period of your life, Aquarius. And I feel like it's it's bringing you knowledge like you've never known. You know, this could also be you physically relocating for this opportunity. Um, you're, but I feel like this is a transition out of your normal and into this new chapter. You're definitely leaving some kind of comfort zone, some kind of place where you were kind of stuck in that energy of will this be? Or how will this begin? Because I feel like you, you're finally making decisions on what those answers should be. Because this new journey is bringing you into this new reality. You're taking complete control. The, the emperor and the empress, you know, the, the emperor is a true leader. He's very respected, but he's also a strategic planner. He knows how to get something started that's going to make him successful. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing, Aquarius. I feel like you're just starting a journey because you have faith that this is going to be successful because you know you have the power to do it. You know you have the complete authority over this manifestation and this manifestation is going to come to you because you have put the intent out there so strongly that you know there there's no choice but for the universe to provide what you ask because of the fact that you are manifesting this what is meant for you is going to come to you and what is meant what is not meant for you will not come you know so i feel like you are taking total control but there's things that you are letting go of you're letting go of that feeling of being pressured the feeling of being binded being tied down you know to some kind of action some kind of intent you know, the the devil card, this is usually some kind of addiction to something, but it can also be envy. It can also be materialism. It can also be obsession with something. But this is something that is chained to a person that you and you alone have the ability to let go of only you have the ability to cut these chains and release yourself from the situation and i feel like with this emperor energy right next to the devil you're being released because look at this you're finding your success you're finding the satisfaction that it took to get to this process but you also have victory you're being rewarded this is going to be some kind of very good news that maybe you've been waiting for maybe has been delayed you know um but i feel like with this six of wands this is total success this is you getting rewards for your efforts for the work that you put in and i feel like you have put in a lot of work into this situation because you have a lot of hopes you have a lot of dreams you have a lot of aspirations you know and i i really feel like 
Um, this is your gift. This is your gift. For some of you, I feel like you just want the gift of being part of a family that's loving, that's giving, that's nurturing. You want to be part of a family that's a forever family. That includes love. You know? Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, this is having hopes in something that you want to pursue. This is creating a dream in your mind and following through, being persistent, you know, having that passion to go the distance and not give up. Let's get a card for the Six of Cups and the Emperor, please. Tell me about the Six of Cups and the Emperor. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. This is gifts coming. This is wealth, abundance, love. A good, healthy family. You know, good health. That's all what the Ten of Pentacles means. The Ten of Pentacles is your true contentment in your situation. That brings you wealth and abundance. This is also like leaving a legacy. So it could mean that you are creating a family and having children, creating that legacy that's going to live on after you have faded off. You know, your legacy is not only material wealth. It can also be in the form of, you know, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. You know, leaving a legacy, something that you have started that moves on even if you don't. You know, this is something that you'll, if, if this is abundance, Aquarius, this is abundance that you will pass down. This is something that, you know, will be there for retirement, for inheritance, you know, that sort of situation. Spirit, tell me about this devil in the Six of Wands. Tell me more about this devil in the Six of Wands, please. The Strength card. Exactly. You have the ability to take control of your situation. You have the ability and the courage and the fearlessness to take on any adversity. I feel like that's the reason why we got the adversity on the bottom. Yeah, that's the reason why we got the adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So for all the adversity that you went through, Aquarius, you're obtaining your happiness. You're obtaining your passion. And you're receiving those signs and reminders of what is really important to you. What you leave behind. You know, what in your life do you find as priceless you know um, that's something to think about for the eight of swords in reverse we have the two of swords so i feel like with this two of swords and this eight of swords in reverse you've made a choice you've made a choice to step out of your comfort zone and move out of this boxed in feeling to just uncage yourself and unlock the door to discovery. Beautiful energy, Aquarius. Really beautiful energy. At the bottom, we have the tower. Now, towers are not always something to fear because a tower is merely change that needs to happen in order for something better to be birthed. For something better to start, you know, 
like a phoenix rising from the ashes. You know, the the ashes had to burn for the phoenix to rise. If that makes any sense to you at all. You know, a, a tower is just some kind of situation that was just unstable. It wasn't built on solid ground. There was no way for it to flourish. But the tower had to crumble so that something solid can be built. Something more valuable. And I feel like maybe you have been waiting on this situation for quite a while. Maybe you have worked, if this is an idea, maybe you've been working on this idea for quite a while. You know, you've been waiting for some kind of sign and synchronicity, some kind of reminder that this is possible, that this is going to happen, like this is going in your favor. You know, and I feel like you have finally reached that stepping stone that's moving you in the right direction. And we have it bring love into the situation. So this may have to deal with some sort of love situation. Like I said, for some of you, this could be family. This could be you building a life that is everlasting, that will endure and grow you know as we love and as we flourish we multiply so bringing love into the situation now this isn't going to resonate for everyone but um for for some of you this is building a family this is building something lifelong and we have surrender to the divine so Aquarius, I feel like spirit is letting you know, look at all these major arcanas. We have the fool, the sun, the chariot. We have the, the emperor, the devil, the strength card. You know, all these major arcanas are spirit letting you know in a stern voice, move, take action. You're on the right path. Start this new journey. You are strong enough. You have value. You know, Spirit is letting you know just how valuable you are. Just how strong you are. We have look at the bigger picture. So there may be still plans that you need to work out. But you're going on this journey. You're coming into this realization. And with the fool card, you know, the fool is leaving on his journey with nothing but his know-how. You know, he's taking this small bag of his hopes and dreams. And he is just moving. He's not moving because he has a set destination. He's moving because the universe is telling him, this is the way that you should go. So he's moving in that direction. He's not even looking at this cliff he's about to take the leap from, you know, because he understands that the universe has his back. You know, this, this cliff isn't so high that he's going to hurt himself or he's going to stumble. He's going to land on his feet because he has faith that he's going to land on his feet, that he's going to do so. You know, and I, I feel like that's the place where you need to be, Aquarius, knowing that you will land on your feet, knowing that you have the know-how, the know-how and the knowledge to get wherever you want to be. Let's get some um, Monology Manifestation cards for Aquarius. Let's take a look at the Monology Manifestation. Yeah, we have last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. So take notice as you're, as you're moving in the month of February. Take notice of the little details. I, I feel like Spirit is going to give you some sort of reminder, some sort of sign that this is going to work out for you that yeah you're doing the right thing you're on the right path and then you have full moon and leo go wild look at that 
you have the strength card twice. That's strength. That's worth, value. You loving yourself enough to pursue your dreams. To pursue what you know you can obtain. Look what we have on the bottom. Aries energy. Go for it. You know, this is emperor energy. We have the emperor here as well. Go for it. Because you know you have the ability to obtain it. You are the emperor, Aquarius. You have the know-how. You have the gift. Just obtain it. Let's get a little bit of clarity on the situation. Let's get an outcome. What other messages do we have for Aquarius in February? What other messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, and rising. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. With the Seven of Swords, I feel like this is you, Aquarius. Not running away from the situation, but taking action, standing firm. You know, putting your plans into action. Three of Wands energy. Some kind of event is going to happen. I feel like you're watching for this all to unfold in front of you. You know, you're, you're watching for those signs to come through. You're watching for those ships to come in. Because I feel like you're, you're kind of waiting for your ride. <laughs> Does that make sense? You're waiting for your ride. We have the Queen of Cups. So look at this. Don't it look like she's holding a gift? She's also holding a fish. So she's using her intuition. She's using all of her gifts to bring forth what she's interested in. What brings her joy? What brings her passion? You know, what she loves very deeply. She's holding that close to her. I feel like with this Queen of Cups, I feel like she's also imagining the best possible outcome. And by imagining and setting that intention, I feel like it's coming to reality. Look at what we have on the bottom. The wheel. And I feel like, you know, you're not on the outside of the, of the wheel riding this, this wheel as it's spinning. You're not on the outside. You're sitting in the middle. You're, you're feeling balance, harmony. You're feeling this energy of change a forward motion that's moving in a direction to bring you good fortune, to bring you fame. You know, something is pushing you into this turning point that is bringing all of this good fortune forward. It's some kind of forward movement taking you away from the chaos taking you away from the place where you were always, you know, taking you from the place where you've always been and moving into this new island, this new destination. You know, you're moving from where you always was to something brand new. You are discovering that unlocked door because you have the key. You have the key to bringing this into reality. You have the forward motion, you know, just don't get into that stuck energy. The, the Knight of Pentacles, 
this is your reward for your hard work because you've been so reliable. You've been the rock. You've been stable. You know? You've worked very hard for this. So I feel like this is your reward coming through. This is Spirit letting you know that the slow race is being rewarded and you have the knowledge to put this into action. You've changed your thinking and moved away from those old beliefs. And now you're moving into something much more precious. You're moving into this enlightened kind of energy. You know, there's something that had to be sacrificed for you to get this, this energy. Five of Swords. Now, I don't feel like this is conflict of any kind. I feel like, look how they're walking away. They're walking away because he has victory. He's stolen these knives from the enemy. Now, they're walking away without any weapons. He has total victory in this situation. You know, he's kind of took advantage of his, you know, time to act. He's made his move and now he's victorious. He's defeated the enemy. You know, he, he's gone through his goal. His wishes, his contentment are now being fulfilled. So beautiful energy, Aquarius. <laughs> Please comment in the comment section. Please tell me what this reading means to you. Um, and if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising Aquarius. I should have them all uploaded by the end of the week. And until your next blessing. Until your next reading. Until your next blessing. See? Spirit is speaking through me that you, you have blessings overflowing coming to you. But until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.